Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to select text from uh, images or other items that are not selectable, for lack of a better word. So if you have like a picture with some text or a website doesn't have selectable text, you could use this tool to do so. It's called Text Grab, and there's two versions on the website. One's a standalone, like this one where it's just a zip file and you extract the uh, files and you can just run the executable. And the other one is uh, standalone executable. That's supposed to be an installer, but it doesn't look like it installs anything. And you also need uh, .NET 6 to even get it to work, so I suggest sticking with the standalone. So this has four modes. So the first time you run it, you'll see like a splash screen where you could select which mode you want to uh, use. But then after that, the next time you run it, it kind of sticks to the last mode uh, that you happen to use. So this program's a little buggy, but it's free and it kind of does the job, so that's why I decided to make a video for it. So I have this uh, text here in an image file, so you can't copy, as you can see there. So I'm going to run the program here, and it's in the last mode that I used, which was a grab frame. So I'll click on grab. Once I have it, you know, you can just move it around where you want it to be over the text. Click on grab, and if I go into notepad here, I could paste it in there. Then I could also do this option here, which is edit individual words in grab frame, which is like their own little text editor here. And then you could copy and paste from there. Or you could format it, you know, do searches. I'll make a single line if you want to do that, which makes it look a little better. And if I copy and paste this into Notepad here, like so. And then from here, you could run some of the other modes, like the full screen grab, uh, with then with a two second delay, new grab frame, which is what we're just using here. So if I do the, move this out of the way here. use the delay because you need to have, once you click on a full screen grab, it locks the uh, screen. So let's do this. Okay, and then sometimes this works. So if I do a, uh, draw a box around it, I copied it into there. So like I said, it's kind of, buggy, so you're going to have to play around with it and get used to how it works. Uh, you have some other options, you know, save to file, copy and close. That'll open the grab frame again. You can see how it cut off some of the stuff here. If you want to open up the selection window, like so. So let me close it and reopen it here. And up top, you have some things here. Uh, freeze image and frame, analyze this table. You have your settings here. So if you like a mode, um, once you try them out, you could come here and pick the mode you like. So there's the full screen mode, which I said was a little weird. The grab frame seems to work the best. I believe this will just open the text editor and it's a quick, simple lookup. Um, you could like import a CSV file and do searches on it and that type of thing. Then you have some hotkeys, auto start. Uh, then you have the delay here. Just make sure you pick a save and close once you change your settings there. So let's do this quick, simple lookup real quick. And like here, you could come here, add rows from CSV file. Like this, and you could search on it. You got your full screen grab, save it, insert values, send to send value to the text editor, save it, parse it, add rows, go back to the settings, like so, and so on. So let's try the edit text window. So that just opens the text editor where you could paste some stuff into here and uh, manipulate it using their text editor. And of course you could um, start the full screen grab or a frame grab from here as well. And then go back to the settings. But like I said, for me, the grab frame seems to work the best. We 
because then you could just uh, put your box over what you want to copy there and click on grab. Then you could refresh if you want to start over. And then even something like this, if you drag it over here, grab that. Actually, let me shrink this down here. Sometimes it'll kind of close itself too, so just be prepared for that as well. So click on grab. And if I want to go into here, you can see it kind of copied the uh, file names and stuff like that. Okay, so there's one other feature I want to show you real quick. So if you open the program, so depending on what mode you're in here, so if you're in the grab frame, for example, go to open image. So here's the uh, text file on the desktop here. You can see it reads it right from opening the uh, text file. Now if you go to the text editor, you go to capture, and then you can extract text from images in folder. So there's just the one image on the desktop here. It's not showing the uh, a file name, it's just showing folders. Would you like to OCR images in every subfolder? Say yes. And there's our same text right there. And then you could write text file for each image in a folder. So we'll click on select folder again, say yes. And there's our text file with the same uh, text in it as well. So like I said, you know, it's a little buggy, but if you kind of play with it a bit and just kind of pick which mode you like the best, like I said, for me, the, uh, the, the grab window seems to work the best. Or if you just want to do the uh, extract text from file, then that's even easier too, if you just have the one or whatever method you like, I guess. So I'll put a link in the description where you could download it and then you could uh, try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.